Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about AI agents because reportedly they have taken a huge step forward. We're talking about AI kind of things that can control our computers, our you know electronics, you name it, etc. So I'm going to break it down in this video what they are and just talk a little bit about them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So AI agents play a pivotal role in various domains from virtual customer service agents to data gathering powerhouses, all without the need for human intervention. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't, I don't know where the world is going, guys. So let's get into it. What are AI agents, right? AI agents are entities designed to perceive their environment and take actions in order to achieve specific goals. These agents... Uh, can be software-based or physical entities, right? All, all these robots out here, right? And are often built using artificial intelligence techniques. They perceive their environment through sensors, process the information using algorithms or models, and then take actions using actuators or other means. So AI agents can range from simple systems that follow predefined rules to complex autonomous uh, entities that learn and adapt based on their experiences they utilize in various fields uh you know they're utilizing various fields like robotics gaming virtual assistants autom uh, autonomous vehicles obviously and more uh, these agents can be reactive responding directly to stimuli deliberative planning and making decisions or even have learning capabilities adapting their behavior based on data and experiences so now let's get into creating rational agent programs with natural language processing right or also known as nlp and nlp is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on the interaction between humans and computers using natural language it involves the development of algorithms and models that enable computers to understand interpret and generate human language NLP is essential for various AI applications, including chatbots, language translation, and sentiment analysis and text summarization. So machine learning models, including deep learning, play a vital role in NLP. Uh, these can learn patterns and relationships in language data, enabling AI agents to generalize and make sense of new unseen language. These models are trained on vast corpora of text data, allowing them to understand and generate language with human-like fluency and accuracy. So what is the relation of AI and language, you know, you know, processing, right? In, in that, you know, sense. So the components of AI agent and, you know, the following components work together to enable an AI agent to operate in its environment effectively. These elements are crucial for development of intelligent agents that can perform tasks autonomously in a wide range of applications. So that is the relation between natural language processing and AI agents, right? Uh, before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now we're really about to get into the details. Let's talk about agent function. Now the agent function is the core of an AI agent. It defines how the agent maps the data it has collected to actions. In other words, the agent function allows the AI to determine what actions it should take based on the information it has gathered. This is where the intelligence of the agent resides as it involves reasoning and selecting actions to achieve its goals. Uh, next, we have percepts, and percepts are the sensory inputs that the AI agent receives from its environment. These provide information about the current state of the observable environment in which the agent operates. For example, if the AI agent is a customer service chatbot, percepts can include user messages, user profile information, user location, chat history, language prefacing, <laughs> prefacing. Uh, guys, you know, I'm going to have my one mess up per video. One mess up. <laughs> Language preferences, right? Chat history, time and date, user preferences, user emotion recognition. Now let's get into the land of actuators. So now actuators are essentially the muscles of the agent executing the decisions made by the agent function. These actions can be a wide range of tasks from steering a self-driving car to typing text on a screen for a chatbot. So some common actuators include text response generator, 
This actuator is responsible for generating and sending text-based responses to the user. It takes the chatbot's text-based reply and delivers it to the user through the chat interface. Next, we have service integration APIs. A chatbot might need to integrate a system such as uh, the company's CRM system to access customer data, create support tickets, or check the status of orders. These integrations involve API calls as actuators, allowing the chatbot to interact with external systems and retrieve or update information as needed. Next, we have notification and alerts. And you basically can <laughs> tell that that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to get into it. So actuators for notifications can send email no uh, notifications, SMS messages, or push notifications to the user's device to alert them about upcoming appointments, order status changes, promotions, or other relevant updates. These actuators help keep users informed and engaged. So now let's get into types of AI agents. Uh, first, we have simple reflex agents, and these agents operate based on a set of predefined condition action rules. They react to current percept and do not consider the history of previous percepts. They are suitable for tasks and uh, with limited complexity and narrow range of capability. Then we have the model-based reflex agents and model-based agents have you know have more advanced approach they maintain an internal model of the environment and make decisions based on their model's understanding uh, this allows them to handle more complex tasks lastly we have utility based agents and utility based agents make decisions by considering the expected utility of each possible action they often employed they're, they're often employed in situations where it's essential to weigh difficult or different options and set the you know select the one with the highest expected utility thanks for watching this video see you in the next video